Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be exploring a different mod for Mountain Blade Warband. This time it's 16th century in the Northern Hemisphere. And I'm just going to jump straight in here, get right to the good stuff. And just before I start, I'm going to say one thing about this mod. The scenes, the custom scenes in this mod are amazing. And I'm going to show you what I mean just in just a second. But the, the scenes in this mod, they're good. They're right up there with Britain Walda, Legal, you know, all the other mods. It's like Hamburg in Europe 1200. So, you'll see. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> it's one of my favorite mods. and um, He's still working on it. You know, he's doing good. I think he had to translate it into English from a different language, if I'm not mistaken. So he's put a lot of work into this mod, and I have to say it's a lot better than it was in previous versions. But, you know, hey, it's just a part of beta, right? So, let's see. Sometimes it takes a while for it to launch the game. Don't freak out and think that it's going to crash or something, because it won't. It's fine, it's just taking time to load all the textures and, you know, all the technical stuff that goes behind the game. So, it's fine. Let's see. Eh, yeah, I need to get more money. Alright, let's see. I'm a male. Uh, let's see. Your father was a veteran warrior. Sorry, let's see. Shop assistant and goods peddler. I'm pretty steadfast on those. Wanderlust. We're going to do this realistically. His name John. Up the charisma so we can up the leadership. Up intelligence to 9 so we'll have more skill points. Iron flesh and power strike. Shield and athletics for effectiveness in combat. We don't need riding at this point. Prisoner management, inventory management, and it's always good to follow up with the pathfinding. We're going to focus on firearms because I love the firearms in this game. And let's see. <laughs> Looks like a goth kid. Huh. Alright, I'll give him the hair you like he just got out of bed in the morning. I'm gonna head to London. And now I can show you these custom scenes I was talking about. First, just for um, viewing sake, I'm gonna go into the mod options under camp. I'm going to close the war fog and I usually deactivate the minimap because I don't like the minimap in the battle. Okay, I, think, I think that's all we can do. Well, let's check mod preferences just to be sure. Yeah. Okay. We've done all we can do. So this way, there shouldn't be any fog of war. And I'm going to walk around the town to show you what I mean by these custom scenes I was telling you about. Alright, and here we are. Now if this doesn't feel like London in the 16th century, I don't know what does. Every single city in the entire campaign map is just as custom modified as London. And I love that. I, I really do. But for now, let's head to the barrack. Guess we're not going to do that. One feature that is in this mod is you can enlist in the army of a different lord. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to enlist in this noble's army and fight for him to earn some money. Enlist in the army and we're done. And 
now what will happen is you're tied to the map. I'm just gonna go ahead and oh, I don't like that dagger. I'm gonna buy some weapons. And since we have a bow and arrow, we really don't need the crossbow. But I really could use the shield. 3129, 3231. Additionally, well, I guess I had a shield. I am going to sell these items I have. And I'm going to get me a pistol. Alright. So even though I'm serving in the army of this lord, and you're assigned equipment based on what rank you are, I still was able to customize my equipment. Because if you just go into your inventory, you can edit it. You'll have to do that every time you get promoted though. It doesn't automatically move your items from the inventory, but that's fine. We can deal with that. We're doing a whole lot of running though, I'd like to get to fighting as quick as possible. Our army is scared to move. We're cowards. <laughs> I know we only have 88 guys, but I mean, if we combine all our forces... <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna leave this guy. I don't think this guy fights. I did notice that the knight who went in here was just finished with the battle. So I'm positive that I'm going to see some action with this guy. And since I moved again, I'm going to have to change the inventory. Okay, and we are back to duty with a different lord. I say nation, but I'm moving a guy around because there's some guys they just do not fight at all. I mean, they have the men, they just don't have the willpower, I guess. And if you're in their army, you're gonna do a whole lot of nothing. But I do believe I'm in the right army this time. Everyone seems to be forming up on this castle, which is usually an indicator that we're about to go on a campaign. And we are. The Siege of Edinburgh. Okay. I'm a newbie. It's fun when it comes to combat. I haven't seen action yet. At least my character hasn't. So... I'm really looking forward to it. Which is a paradox, because if this was reality, you know, he would not be looking forward to it. But, it's a video game, so we're having fun, right? Now, since we are part of a campaign, and we aren't laying siege to the castle ourselves, the castle is going to go to the host country that is fighting, in this case, England. And, let's go ahead and join the next assault. I love the sound of that bow. Just listen to that. You can hear the twang. I really want to hit that guy. Oi, come on. Oh! Oh boy, forget it. The one problem I have with Mountain Blade is this. 
when the troops bunch together, this happens. But aside from that problem, I love the game. It's a lot of spears. I'm gonna go ahead and back out of that. I wasn't winning anyhow. Oh! I took an arrow straight to the head. Well, we can join the next assault, but I don't know what good that'll do me since I'm pretty wounded. Case in point! <laughs> Alright, so looks like I'm going to be sitting out the rest of this one. I can rejoin in a day or two once I've rested a while. It's unfortunate, but it's just the way it goes. Huh, he left the campaign. He quit the battle. What a coward! You can still hear him fighting up there. I mean, yeah, I got knocked out of the count, but that's only because... Alright, I guess he's not as much of a coward as I thought he was. Alright, lads. Let us win here today and achieve victory. Uh, look at that army. These guys know what they're doing. The French, I believe we're fighting the French. They don't know what they're doing. Besides, I'm pretty sure we outnumber them two to one. Yeah, we do. You can tell. Under the A, we got 120. Okay, I'm just gonna start firing arrows now. Cause mounted knights. I'm still an infantryman. I can't go up against that. Not yet, at least. I don't think I'm doing very much damage. How about you? On guard! Ah, oh, this is a tough bugger. Alright. Only took me like 15 tries. Ooh. Oh, dude. That guy has beast armor. Look at these guys. They're running. That was my kill or what? But either way, we won! Alright, we don't need any of that stuff. We got more money after all. <laughs> Alright, and with that, we have victory!